Thanks, Jan. He's the most famous contemporary artist that's still living, and Peter Max is coming to Tyson's again. That's this weekend. So this morning, of course, I'm back at Wentworth Gallery getting a preview and getting into the psychedelic spirit of the pop art that, of course, we all love and checking out some of the pieces that are just fresh off of the easel at Peter Max's studio. So we're going to be back at Wentworth Gallery in just a little bit. We've got a great Thursday show for you this morning. Daryl Green is here, too. We're back after this. Head out to uh, the always colorful Megan Mooney. She's going to culture us a little bit at the Wentworth Gallery at Tyson's Galleria. Hey, what's going on? What are you looking at down there? <laughs> Chris, always colorful, but today I wore white for a reason, and that's because probably the most famous living contemporary artist, Peter Max, is coming back to the DMV this weekend to both Tyson's Galleria as well as Montgomery Mall to the Wentworth Gallery. So I'm back here this morning catching up with basically the encyclopedia for Peter Max. Aww. Brian, you know so much about this famous artist. So, you know, we know that there's some famous artwork um, that everybody loves. It's yeah. it's the cosmic runner. Uh -huh. It's the guy with the umbrella, of yes. course, the big heart. Uh -huh. But there's some fresh new pieces right off of the easel. Tell us about yes. this one. Exactly. Well, here we have, of course, the Fab Four, the Beatles. You know, iconic, right? Explosion of music in the 1960s, explosion of art. Peter is the two that bridge those two. He's the one person that bridges those things together. Here you have the four portraits. He's, he's surrounded them in all of his wonderful Peter Max color and brushwork. All the energy of the music and excitement of the era is kind of captured right here on canvas, Megan. And there's something special, too, about the fact that this is an original painting by Peter Max of the Beatles. Tell us yes. their connection. Well, Peter has known and knew all of the Beatles back in the 1960s. They visit him in New York. They continue to visit him in New York. That is the two living Beatles, of course. Paul and Ringo, they're, they're, Ringo and Paul are both very close friends with Peter still. That's because in that era, Peter was, you know, the, one of the great social artistic touchstones. And, and, the, and the Beatles and everyone else who came into New York, that was a pilgrimage you'd make. You'd, you'd go see Peter Max. You'd go, you'd go see this artist that everyone was talking about. And the Beatles go see Peter Max and stay at his home. I could not believe when you told me that. Yes. Well, if anybody's going to have a portrait of the Beatles in their home, you know that he's, Peter Max is going to represent them well. Let's look at another right. piece over here um, before we get mm -hmm. to a little bit more music. Let's just talk about this one because this is kind of that same like astrology theme, right. pop art, right? Right. Well, you know, Peter wanted to originally be an astronomer. He mm. has a great love for planets. His famous style from the 1960s is actually called the cosmic style because it often uses these stars and planets and these explosions, these planetary elements in them. And here you have a piece that obviously you have the stars and you have this sage-like figure looking out and the universe. And of course, uh, you know, even in Peter's most recent book, The Universe of Peter Max, you know, the, the Ford was written by Neil deGrasse Tyson, the, the head of the Hayden Planetarium in New York City and one of America's foremost astrophysicists. And so, dear friend of Peter's, because Peter's still very knowledgeable about that world and still finds it very interesting and it still remains somewhat of a hobby of his. There's so, so much inspiration that goes into these pieces. The meditation aspect too, yes. we didn't even get to. Listen, yes. before we talk about the event that's happening this uh -huh. weekend, in 15 sure. seconds, can you just tell us why this is such significance? Well, Peter, again, another band that Peter is closely associated with, The Grateful Dead. Here yeah. you have all great, Peter's great elements. Here are some of his mm -hmm. most famous figures and, and almost you know cosmic figures from the 1960s rolling around the famous skull, of course, the icon of The, the Grateful dead and the lightning bolt blowing through and from their great tour in 1988. And, and of course signatures from all of the, yes. um, the, exactly. the musicians, including yep. Jerry Garcia, that is exactly. so cool. We want to learn more about this, but first, just kind of give us a preview of what we can expect this weekend at the event. This weekend we're going to have the most amazing event. Peter's going to be at the Montgomery Mall from 1 to 3 in the afternoon and then here from 6 to 9 this coming Saturday evening at Tyson's Gallery, uh, Wentworth Gallery. And it's, it's going to be uh, a, a, an opportunity to come and not only meet Peter Max, but Peter Max really spend time with his friends and fans, and also to see this fabulous collection. You can take home one of these beautiful pieces of artwork. You can treat yourself to one. You'll get the book with the foreword by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Peter would autograph that for you. He'll also do a dedication on the back of your artwork. So it's going to be such an opportunity once in a lifetime. You get your photograph taken with them. It's it's just, it's going to be amazing. So cool. And you say that he is such a nice guy, too. All right, so we yes. have more from Wentworth Gallery when we come back. But first, where do we go for more information? You can go to our website, WentworthGallery.com, and that will give you more details on Peter Max, his artwork, and also these upcoming events. Great. We'll be back Great. right after this. Thank you. This. The Wentworth Gallery inside Tyson's Galleria. Galleria, I'm sorry, ahead of this weekend's Peter Max experience. Stay with us. More to come.
Thanks, Allison. And also this weekend, there is a, such a fun event that's happening at Wentworth Gallery, both in Montgomery, Maryland, as well as here at Tyson's Galleria in Virginia. So all of you fans of pop art or maybe the psychedelic era, we have Brian here who's going to tell us a little bit about Peter Max's pieces that are so famous. What about this one? That is the Cosmic Runner. And of course, Cosmic Runner was the first 10 cent postage stamp in 1974. It was made to commemorate the Spokane World's Fair, which may not be remembered for as much as some of the other World's Fairs, but it was so important in the environmental movement because it was the very first world event of any kind that actually featured the green movement, the movement, the, the ecology movement that we kind of, that's so big today and, and you know, whenever anybody recycles at their own home or office, they're, they're, they're kind of participating in it. At that time, it was new, it was cutting edge. So Peter was green before people knew Every, what green was. Right, and before it was like kind of a trendy exactly. thing, right? Exactly. There's this piece too, right? The season, speaking of green. Well, we have the four seasons here. So Peter is the master of color, right? So here he's moving our eye across the landscape. We're going from you know spring to summer to fall to winter. So it's one contiguous landscape, but just told the stories told through color. And it's bold, but it's beautiful. Beautiful. Exactly. There's so many more pieces here that yes. we're checking out. So we're going to be back right after this, guys. Welcome back to Great Day Washington. This morning I'm live at Wentworth Gallery and Tyson's Galleria where, hey, I got my Peter Max painting. Have you got yours yet? You can this weekend. And this is one of his famous pieces of work. He's actually one of them. I'm gonna hand that over to you just for safekeeping, you know. He is one of the most famous contemporary artists still living here. Brian, you know all about him. He's yes. also taken so many travels around the world and that's he what has. inspires him into his images. Tell us about this one. Yeah, so here we have Paris, right? The Eiffel Tower. Peter actually lived yes. in Paris for six months when he was young, his family. He actually took classes at the Louvre. And here at the Wentworth Gallery, we're featuring his one of his latest collections, which is this world tour collection. It's going to be viewable tonight, both at the Montgomery Mall and here at Tyson's Gallery. And that's you, tonight? That's tonight. That's, I'm sorry, Saturday. On Saturday, night. Okay. Saturday night. So sorry. Saturday night. And so here you have all the beautiful color of Paris. You have the Eiffel Tower. You have an iconic view. But it's how we think of Paris, not necessarily how it actually exactly looks. So here with paints, he's giving us all of that energy, that visual moment we're having when we're, we're remembering our wonderful stay there. And what's something neat too is about this one as well as the one up there of Big Ben, they're photographs and then he puts the paint on top. Right, it's actually, you, he's mixing the two medium together so you don't know where one ends and the other begins. Right, I didn't. And so you can look at it really closely and it's almost impossible to tell. And so that's just, again, Peter, the master of the brush, using his famous brushwork to kind of cover the piece and all of his beautiful Peter Max color giving you all that energy and excitement that he's been giving us since the 1960s right here on Paris. Same, of course, with the bridges in Manhattan, Brooklyn. Yes. Tell us about these really quickly. So, of course, Peter's an iconic New Yorker, an iconic Mar American, you know, America City, New York City. Here you have uh, two views of two great bridges in New York, one of the Brooklyn Bridge down here, one of the Manhattan Bridge. Famous, iconic scenes. Again, he's painting these and, and giving us all that Peter Max color in them. Great, very subtly sometimes with all the beautiful purples and the deep tones here with the bridges. But it's giving you that kind of sense of mystery, that magic mm. that you find in New York. It's again how when you remember these scenes, what you remember, not actually maybe if you take a photograph of them, what you see. Right. It's, it's so unique. And that theme of Americana, of course, goes right. through a lot of his different images, in particular some that we're going to check out next. So stay with us. We're going to be back in just a little bit. Guys, what's going on in the studio today? Wentworth Gallery ahead of this weekend's Peter Max egg yeah, boy I'm messing this up <laughs> Peter Max experience she has more groovy art to show us from that fabulous artist Megan what's happening out there Hey, Chris, that's all right, because, you know, we're talking about far out artwork. I mean, just look at the one right behind me. We were saying before that, yeah, sure, Peter Max has taken a tour around the world and that's inspired his paintings. But right here in America, that's really where he he, he calls home, of course. Absolutely. Tell us about this piece, Brian. Well, Peter is the painter laureate of America. He has done this like exhibits um, throughout museums where it's like pop to patriotism. So this is something cool. he's really well known for. Flag with heart, Liberty Head. He's been painting Liberty since they restored the Statue of Liberty back in the 1980s. He's been working with the flag since he was asked to do so by the Reagan White House as a gift to the former Soviet pr uh, Premier Mikhail Gorbachev. So this man has been everywhere. Speaking of kind of DC stuff, I mean, look just behind us. We've yeah. got to highlight these. We have, well, Cherry Blossoms, right? So you have from the uh, 2011 Cherry Blossom Festival here in DC, you have the poster artwork that he's then completely painted over and made into an original work of art. You have all his great characters. And then over here, you have a painting of the Tidal Basin. So you have the iconic you know, view of the, the Washington Monument and the water and the trees. 
So Peter's kind of really captured something that is so important and special to the people of this region. Yeah, this is something you could put in your home and you could have the cherry blossom season all year long. Absolutely. This weekend is a yes. great opportunity to get down here, right. meet the artist himself really yes. quickly. Just tell us about that event. That event's going to be amazing. It's going to be this coming Saturday, 1 to 3 o'clock at the Montgomery Mall and 6 to 9 p.m. here at Tyson's Gallery, Megan. It's going to be an event where you can come and meet Peter Max. You, you, can, be, you can meet his yeah. friends. He's actually going to sign these books. If you will. pick up one, you can buy a piece of artwork. And I just got to tell you, my photographer that I had the last time, Mark, he left, remember, with a he piece did. after he came on he that did. weekend. And he's been back to Wentworth Gallery four more times after that. He said that he might have to get another one, too. He's, so, guys, yeah. you got to get down here this weekend. It's such a cool opportunity. And there's also pieces that are available that, you know, are just right off of the easel from the artist. So we're sending it back to the studio. Hope you guys are having a good